Kia ora vatos. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video of Infamous coming at you live from the West Coast. Yet again, we are doing a quick unboxing, as you can see right here. Kiriakin, Road Thunder, MTX Audio. You've seen this before on John Maxwell's uh, video, but yeah, let's just do a quick unboxing here. And uh, let's take a look at what's inside and what do we have. So we have some instructions, zip ties. I don't know what this is zip ties uh looks like a splitter to kind of or to, to uh, splice into a line yeah that's exactly what that is so huh you might have to splice into your battery or something i'm not too sure uh i'll have to look at the instructions so let's look at uh what do you got here you have a few um connectors mounting hardware oh you have different sizes so this looks like it's for this looks like it's maybe three quarters of an inch this yeah this looks like it's an inch right there you have more mounting hardware this is this looks like the one we need for my build i have a I have an inch and one eighth tapered uh handlebar so oh wow we have more sizes so yeah plenty of different i mean this is a universal kit guys you can put this on anything so mounting hardware this you know let's go ahead and move on this is the mounting hardware for the speaker itself and this is adjustable as you can see let me just open one up and show you guys uh, you could yeah you could pretty much put this any way you need it to so if your handlebars are like this or if you want to put it on your risers you could do that or probably not because you would need it to bend over oh no i guess you could i don't know so basically you can put this in any position that you need it to and angle the speaker because, I mean, it's all adjustable. So you can move it here, you can move it there, depending on how you need it, on how, you, on how you're planning to mount it. I'm actually mounting mine below my risers. So this is going to be in front of my risers. So it's going to be a little bit closer to me. Uh, that way I can enjoy my, my tunes. So, all right, that's that. Now we have the main unit. The, you know, last but not least um the actual sound bar itself wow this looks really nice let me just give it a smell oh yeah that smells uh yeah that smells like brand new is this made in china it's probably made in china anyways uh more big thick beefy wire right there as you can see this doesn't look like it's got uh huge speakers it's got four looks like it's got four tweeters uh there might be a subwoofer in here because it's the whole tube or maybe it's just because it's waterproof is that what that is maybe i'm not too sure but uh you have your controls right over here uh bluetooth pretty sure it's connected to bluetooth you have your power you have your play mute pause skip uh forward go back volume 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 <laughs> volume up volume vo volume down i still can't pronounce that word uh what else do we have we have auxiliary you have a mic is that a mic yeah that's a mic and and you have a what is this mtx no what is this what is this? I'm not sure. I guess that's a 3.5 audio jack. In. In and out. Huh. wonder what that's for. Anyways, that's in there. Now that doesn't want to go back in. All right. So that's there. And then you have another. What is that? Oh, that's just a bolt. And you have. You have a little bit of a USB, so you can charge your device, you can charge your phone, you can charge your GoPro. That's pretty neat. I like that. So it's pretty much a two-in-one. Uh, Sportsters, they don't have a USB um, a connector on the bike, so it'd be nice to have that on my Sportster. And of course, I also have a Plex Audio. Plex Audio, for you to have this, you know, kind of a connector, a control unit, it's an extra 100 bucks. So I have a Plex Audio on my on my lowrider, and I mean we're gonna be comparing it to the uh, to the Plex Audio. This is of course half the cost of a Plex Audio system. So here's a little quick disconnect. This is for your main line. 
Is this or am I wrong? Pretty sure this is. Does this come off? What the heck? There we go. That took a minute. So yeah, quick little disconnect in case you want to, you know, remove it, take it inside. You could always, you know, leave it connected. That's what I'm going to do on mine. And you have, uh, you have a couple fuses here. Well, wait a minute. This thing does not have fuses. I haven't seen any fuses yet. It might be somewhere inside. Whoa, uh -oh. that's going to be, that's going to be all bad. There's no fuse, uh, there's no fuses in, in this thing. Maybe it's somewhere inside. Let me see. Let me, let me take a, a closer look. Really? Is this an open I is this an open item? Wow. There's no What? Okay. There's no fuses in this thing. So I'm not sure if that is I mean it's supposed to have You can't use this unless it's gonna unless you have that fuse in there. So, okay, uh, yeah, that might be a little bit of a drawback. What is it? What does it say in here? Does it say? Yeah, it says right here, 7.5 amp. It must be somewhere around here. All right, they're right over here. Yeah, that's bizarre. Okay, so the fuses are outside. Found the fuses. Uh, this is your connector. I wonder what these what these other wires are for. This one. Oh, I wonder what that's for and this one. I don't know what that's for So this is just an unboxing. We're gonna figure this out once I decide to install it I am in the middle of building the, the build right now building the Sportster. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run this wire through right now and uh, Yeah, just stay tuned. Thanks for watching yet another video. That's a quick unboxing of the Kuryakin uh, Road Thunder so you guys stay out there, stay safe. Don't believe everything you read. Life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later.